Hey, Steve Zook here. Welcome back to Pokesu channel and the Guitar Ladder System. Hey, I'm playing this Washburn J7, which just recently came in. Another beautiful back. And uh, I, I bought this mostly for, you know, my instruction videos. But if somebody digs it, I might sell it. Um, like I said in the last video, the back pickup isn't working right now. It's kind of hard for me to believe it's totally dead because it's a pretty new guitar. And it's down super low, which I always do anyway to jazz guitars because it brings out a better tone. You have less magnetic pull uh, off the bridge pickup, which makes the front pickup sound even better. And uh, I've got an Epiphone pickup I'll throw in with this if I decide to sell it. But I, I love this just the way it is. It remind, I used to have five Gibson L5s, and a few of them were CESs. This guitar reminds me a lot of that. It's got a, uh, a solid top, and it really... Uh, sound. Anyway, uh, on the last video, my dog started barking and, uh, God, he's got a loud bark. So I didn't just want to leave this, this idea hanging, you know, in, on the internet air. So I was talking about chord families. Uh, and Joe, I used to study with Joe Pass when I was like 22 and I'm 65 now. But it's really true, you know, uh, the less you think and the more positive you are and you don't judge things, you don't pick things apart and just have a good attitude the, and don't focus on results, the faster you'll learn. It's kind of a paradox, but that's according to the science of neuroplasticity, that when you have a good attitude, you're in the here and now, you don't overthink and pick things apart and just positive that your subconscious mind actually has an open switch and a safe switch. It's incredible. So. In Western culture, we, we've been taught to, you know, overthink everything, but it, it's not good for learning for art and music, you know. And that's a big part of the guitar ladder system. That's why I don't send 200 studies at once. It, it, you, you wouldn't get any more out of it. You might think you will, because we've all been brainwashed from, you know, driving through a burger place and getting a burger and driving away and whoopee, right? But music is different, and you don't have to do 200 studies to start getting something out of the guitar ladder system. But again, if you don't watch the water boil, <clears throat> you don't focus on it. You don't focus on results. You get more out of it. I know that's hard for people to understand because we've all been brainwashed, you know, by, you know, billions in marketing and advertising and, you know, we're kind of in a, you know, get it all right now type society, you know. But um, I just wanted to do a few more ideas because I was, I was, like I said, I was doing this chord family thing. Here, this is a great chord. This guitar sounds so nice but anyway this is a really cool chord but if you look at cycle one in guitar ladder system you can see how this chord family works really nice together if you want a sample of the guitar ladder system uh send a video up to the video uh send me an email to stevezook7 at yahoo.com not not uh you know don't message me off the YouTube Messenger. It doesn't work. Just S T E V E Z O O K. The number seven, not spelled out. Yahoo.com. Steve Zook seven at Yahoo.com. I'll send you a couple samples. It really works, folks. You just got to have a good attitude and be patient and not pick it apart. Anyway, so like on a chord like this, there's certain. Uh, see, the th this is this is one of the hardest things I've ever had to explain because I'm trying to explain how the subconscious mind works and grows. That's really difficult to explain. But the more I think about it, it's like like you start doing all these different studies in my guitar ladder system and then on a subconscious level since your subconscious has the material because you record everything you've ever heard thought watched you may not be able to bring that up consciously but it's it gets recorded into your brain it's a proven thing so even when you're even when you're sleeping your subconscious mind is comparing you know one thing that you play in guitar to something else and something else and it starts to kind of melt all that together and find new combinations why because it's fucking bored. <laughs> I'm serious. You know, I mean, think about it. If your subconscious mind does nothing but run the physiology of your body and everything else, it probably really enjoys doing something a little more artistic. I mean, think about it like almost like a computer or, or a, a robot or something that's always doing the same thing. It, it, it would actually enjoy doing something different. I really think that's true. So the subconscious mind gets a joy from, from comparing some new information because they, they've said you'd have to have a building, I think it's two buildings, the size of the Empire State Building, full of computers to even match the potential of our brain. Folks, we're a walking, freaking miracle. Our subconscious mind is a, such a powerful giant. 
and you need to respect your subconscious mind. And that's why the guitar ladder system works because I respect the subconscious mind. I understand how it works. I try to get people to understand that, you know, but sometimes people get negative because they're, like I said, they're used to driving through somewhere and getting a burger and boom, there's the burger. If you follow, if you try, if you respect me as a musician and you trust my guidance, you're going to make some huge growth, but you need to be positive and not pick things apart. Anyway, let's get back to this. So this is one of my favorite chords here. So this is a, a root flat seven, nine, three. So it's a dominant nine chord. I can come up to the 11. It's nice in the flat to nine. Major 13, flat 5. That works nice, right? The, the dominant 9. You know, this guitar has so much resonance when I'm playing. I can actually feel the bass string in my body even unplugged, but right now it's making the wall behind my amp uh, shack kind of like shake, you know. I don't know if you can hear that. It's making the wall. This guitar has tremendous bass and mid bass. So that's a nice chord, get the, uh, you can flat the nine. Major 13, flat five, pentatonic. 11 chord. I'm not gonna name every chord, I want you to listen to these chords, but that's a great way to practice, is play a chord and listen. But I think I was showing this idea here. And this is kind of an interesting chord, it's, it's got, it's got an, uh, it's got a flat 13 in it. But see, every chord has several names depending upon the reference point. And again, don't get too hung up on the names. It's like Joe Pass said, it's the sound, it's the idea that's important, not the definition. Joe Pass said a lot of simple things that I think go over a lot of people's heads because they're not complex enough. You know, some of the best musicians keep it simple. They keep their, you know, simple, like Joe Pass said, simplify your thinking. But this is a really neat chord because it, it's, and like I said, it's got the uh, the three, it's got a flat 13. It's kind of an offshoot of, you know, the major nine, six with the seven on top. But that goes real nice with the non root 13 to the minor seven flat five. Now, I'm not going to name every chord, by the way. So that's a really nice. That could fit really nice. And by chord. So by learning, boy, this guitar sounds good. Uh, I just had eye surgery a couple days ago, by the way, cataract surgery on one eye. I was really, really nervous. It was nothing. It was a walk in the park. All I remember, in fact, I, I, I played guitar for my doctor because he plays guitar. And when I mentioned I played guitar, he went left the examination room and went out and grabbed an FG 180 old one, really nice guitar. And I played for him and then I sent him a link to my band camp, which is Steve Zook. Um, the number one, not spelled out, Steve Zook one at bandcamp.com. So he's heard me play. It was so funny. I know I'm going to pat myself on the back here, but he's wheeling me into the into the surgery room, and he's like, "Man, you can really play guitar." <laughs> I had to laugh, um, but it's nothing. If you need cataract surgery, don't even sweat it. I mean, the last thing I remember, they they give you a twilight, which is like you're half out. All I remember is seeing a bunch of colored rectangles. The next thing I knew, it was done. I think it's only like a ten minute procedure, ten fifteen minutes, really fast. And uh, I mean, if you need cataract surgery, don't sweat it. It's a walk in the freaking park. It really is. But anyway, um, really like this. Now I did it like this, kind of a symmetrical thing, kind of moved it in different positions to do the same thing. You know, the way I practice and the way I'm trying to get people to understand how to practice. But folks, bottom line, if you buy the guitar ladder system, you need to trust me and just be positive about it. Don't pick it apart and get all negative and everything. It's just not gonna help, you know? I know what I'm doing, I really do. But it's kind of a paradox and it goes against the way we're taught in Western culture. But now as opposed to then doing that again, I can't believe how much body. This guitar has a lot of body and soul, it really does. I mean, it just, it just, uh, 
It's tremendous. I've, I've had three or four of these, but this one sounds the best, and that's not bullshit. I've said this a million times. Every guitar, even the same brand, the same model, sounds a little bit different. Very hard to explain why. It could have to do with maybe the wood laid around a little bit longer, maybe the way you know, they just put it together, and just, like I said, the age of the wood. And uh, you know, sometimes uh, they just put a little more mojo in the guitar. It could just be inherent within the wood. You know, maybe the wood had better soil. It's really hard, but th this guitar sounds, it sounds like something that you could pay a hell of a lot more money for. So this time, as opposed to doing, just keep coming down like that, we can take that somewhere else. To like a seven sharp, five sharp, nine. practice that way where you just keep exploring you don't worry about trying to compare you know a lot of it is is the way that most people learn is so structured that's why it doesn't work that good you know because it's just too I'm not saying that structure isn't good I mean, there's always a, a gray area and a paradox to everything I'm just trying to explain that I've been doing transcendental meditation for 38 years I've also studied the way that the human mind works and evolves and grows the science of neuroplasticity and um, when you when you like I said when you don't try to put everything in a cute little box your own subconscious mind will do a lot of work on, a, on a, a, an unconscious level and make just leaps and bounds but you've got to give it good information and that's what the guitar letter system is about so this non root 13 to minor 7 flat 5 to this uh, major uh, with a flat 13 chord seven non-root 13 major nine six by chord which is a major nine and a minor seven major 13 flat five augmented sound so Anyway, I just wanted to make a couple of those points and do another video without my dog barking. But man, this guitar, and, and I'm not saying this, folks. Sure, I mean, I, I like to sell guitars, but when I say a guitar is special, I'm bringing like, I started playing guitar at seven and I'm 65 and, you know, I've owned a lot of guitars from that, that period from like 18 to 65. So when I say a guitar is special, I really have the ear and the experience to know the difference. It's not just some cute little sales pitch, you know. This guitar sounds unbelievable. Like I said, you can actually play this guitar unplugged, and uh, and it just it just has has a resonance you can feel in your chest. I can even feel, and I barely have my amp up. I can feel this guitar in my chest right now. Some guitars just have a lot more resonance, and the weak area of most arch tops is the mids and the mid bass, and the bass, you know. But those mid basses are what give you the, the, the mids and the mid bass is what really give you that voice. And uh, it's rare to find a, an arch top. Most arch tops are very, very weak in the mids and the mid bass. And uh, I, I was really happy. I just got this guitar a few days ago, just I think a day after my surgery, so it was kind of a nice present. This is diminished, by the way. And I'm not trying to play it super musical because I'm trying to show the idea. arpeggio and then kind of chromaticized on the second string and then an augmented uh, seven splash
interesting how it takes on a different character depending on where you are anyway i have this guitar i freaking love this guitar but if you could use a great box and you're cool maybe i'll sell it to you does that sound arrogant <laughs> i don't mean to sound arrogant i'm just i like to have fun folks <clears throat> i don't take life i mean it's sometimes i take life too seriously like we all do but i like to have a lot of fun out there i do about eight celebrity impersonations and I, I just, I'm an extreme extrovert. I talk to, I know so many people at the park. When I go for a walk, sometimes it's almost hard to walk. But anyway, uh, chord families. Yeah, if you learn chords in, in relationship to other chords, you're really going to build your chordal vocabulary and build your improvisational skills. And improvisational skills are the fertile soil of compositional skills. That's why people like Eric Johnson are so uh, much a cut above most electric guitar players. He has great compositional skills he's got that one song called stratagem it's just beautiful um you know i mean i appreciate all kinds of music but the real composers are few and far between you know and don't marry a genre if you really want to bring out the most beautiful musical ideas you have don't marry a genre because it's going to put you in a box anyway so yeah chord families you know it's, it's an interesting thing <laughs> It's like it's got that solid wood sound that comes through married to the electric sound. That, it, it's, all about, it's all about balance of tone, folks. And by the way, a great guitar isn't always the loudest guitar, by the way, you know? Um, but yeah, this, this guitar reminds me a lot of an early 70s L5 CES I used to have. But this guitar actually has more bass and more mid-bass. It, ju it just sounds tremendous. <laughs> It's just so musical and so meaty, so woody. I love it. Anyway, all right, folks, let's all stay positive. And again, if, if you want to grow as a musician, quit thinking, quit picking things apart. Be positive. And if you want to really grow as a musician, I know what I'm doing. Trust me. Stay positive. All right, take care.